Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out the HGLRC 2306-2450KB motor. There's a lot of motors in this size and class right now. Uh, pretty popular, 2306 and 2207. Um, this has a hollow shaft as you can see. Pretty nice. Uh, open bottom design. Uh, a lot of motors are pretty much coming out like this, pretty much to save some weight. And got some very nice curved magnets. I believe they're N52H magnets and a very tight air gap. It's a little bit notchy, not super notchy. So if you don't like super notchy motors, this is not going to be one of those. Uh, we have a C clip here on the bottom. And you notice here on the design, a little bit extra material here on the inside part. And there's a little bit, I guess, I guess it's half open on on this side here and then a little bit closed on this side where the motor wires come on. So it could be a good thing or a bad thing depending on how you like your motors. And here's a little closer look at the windings if you want to take a look at those. I'm not exactly sure if that's super high quality or not. It looks like there's pretty thin windings. And here's a look at the motor from the top. We have a 20 gauge wire here uh, for the motor wires, and they look like they give you about 100 millimeters of motor wire. And the weight of the motor comes in at about uh, almost about 33 grams. So as you may or may not know, this motor will be coming on their new 5-inch um, drone, the Batman they're calling it. Uh, it's not out yet. I should be getting that uh, at some point fairly soon, but I already have a, a build of this coming up. And it's the uh, Callus Machine Works America 5. That's a, this is a 5 inch racer. And I've got the motors on here already. This, this video is, is still in progress, so I'm not done with that yet. So if you want to see how this motor performs on the America 5 frame, I'll have that video out probably in a week or so. Anyway, it's going to do it for this quick overview of the HGLRC 2306 2450 kV motor. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.